Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to identify the positions of the metals and non-metals on the periodic table. You should then be able to describe how metals react to form positive ions. I'm showing you here a copy of the periodic table and you are given this in your exam. Now the first key fact is that most of the elements are actually metals. We find the metals on the left and the centre of the periodic table and I'm showing you that here. On the right hand side of the periodic table we find the non-metals. We can divide the metals into two broad categories. On the far left we have the highly reactive metals in groups 1 and 2 and we'll be looking at the reactivity of the group 1 metals in later videos. In the centre of the periodic table we have the transition metals. The transition metals are generally less reactive than metals in groups 1 and 2. In a recent video we looked at the group 0 noble gases. We saw that noble gases all have a full outer energy level. Now scientists say that a full outer energy level is stable and this explains why the elements in group 0 are unreactive. So here's a key fact that you need to know about metals. When metals react they lose electrons to achieve a full outer energy level. This gives them the stable electronic structure of a group 0 noble gas. We can see this with the elements lithium and sodium which are in group 1. Lithium atoms have 3 protons in their nucleus and 3 electrons. Sodium atoms have 11 protons in their nucleus and 11 electrons. So as you can see both of these elements have one electron in their outer energy level and that's why these elements are in group 1. When they react lithium and sodium lose their one outer electron and as you can see they've now got a full outer energy level. Lithium now has the same electronic structure as the noble gas helium and sodium now has the same electronic structure as the noble gas neon. Now this is true for all metals. For example I'm showing you the metal aluminium here. Aluminium is in group 3 and as you can see aluminium atoms have 3 electrons in their outer energy level. So when aluminium reacts it loses these 3 outer electrons and now it has a full outer energy level like this. So you need to learn that when metal atoms react they lose their outer electrons to achieve a full outer energy level. Now that creates a problem and we can see that if we look at the lithium atom again. A lithium atom has 3 positive protons and 3 negative electrons. These positive and negative charges cancel so the overall charge on a lithium atom is 0. However when the lithium atom loses its one outer electron it still has 3 positive protons in the nucleus but now it only has 2 negative electrons. So now the charges do not cancel and we're left with an overall charge of 1 positive. When an atom has an overall charge like this scientists now call this an ion. So this is now a lithium ion. We show this by drawing square brackets around the ion and writing the overall charge in the top right corner. So here's the final key fact about metals. Metals always form positive ions. In the exam you could be asked to work out the charge on a metal ion. So I'm going to give you some examples to try yourself. I'm showing you here the sodium atom again. I'd like you to draw the structure of the sodium ion which is formed when the sodium atom loses its outer electron. So pause the video and try this yourself. Ok in the sodium ion we still have 11 positive protons in the nucleus just like in the sodium atom. However now we only have 10 negative electrons. This means that the sodium ion has an overall charge of 1 positive. Here's another example for you to try. This shows the metal beryllium. I'd like you to draw the structure of the beryllium ion. So pause the video now and try this yourself. Ok the beryllium atom has 2 outer electrons so it must lose these 2 electrons to achieve a full outer energy level. In the nucleus we have 4 positive protons but now we only have 2 negative electrons. This means that the beryllium ion has an overall 2 positive charge. You'll find plenty of questions on this topic in my vision workbook which you can get by clicking on the link above.